What's going on, creators? Yeah, I just want to get on here and uh, bring everybody back to now. <laughs> Appreciate y'all being here and vibing with me for a bit. Yeah, today I'd like to talk a little bit about healing relationships and how you can start to kind of put these things to the test and the here and now with uh, what you got going on. It's Thanksgiving today in uh, America, but whenever you're watching, this is still applicable, you know, uh, relationships with your family, your spouse, friends, family, associates, all these types of things. Um, COVID has really done a good job exposing a lot of the underlying shit that was just buried underneath the surface. You know, this has been kind of going on, but really with that experience, it's undeniably, you know, something that we've all had to kind of struggle with, try to process, try to unpack. And, yeah, just trying to add my take to it, which hopefully helps you in your journey. And so one of the first things is really important in healing any type of relationship is acceptance. And I've talked about acceptance in the past couple streams, but it really could be a deep dive because acceptance does not mean that you agree with shitty behavior or immoral behavior or shit that's just obviously just like crossing boundaries. And so, um, but what acceptance does do is just saying, hey, this is just where I'm at. This is just where we're at. Doesn't mean it can't grow and get better. Doesn't mean it can devolve and maybe get worse. But in acceptance, you, you're just taking things that, Okay, here in the present moment, this is what we're doing. But the problem with a lot of um, relationships is the old mindset wants to come in and continue the, the familiar narrative of the past, you know, around Thanksgiving, especially you're surrounded by friends, family, you know, all the people that are around the dinner table. And maybe you haven't seen these people since last Thanksgiving. And it's like, oh, last Thanksgiving, you wouldn't let me come over because I didn't have a vaccine or you wanted to wear a face mask to my Thanksgiving or you know, all these kinds of things, bringing that same drama to the here and now when they're maybe not doing that anymore, maybe they grew in their um, awareness of things, maybe they changed their mind, you know, which is something people are constantly evolving and changing. And so we might not see it, but through that whole year, they may have totally transformed their mindset. And so having those past beliefs about another person and the narratives really is something that you can work on letting go. And that, that really kind of takes the power uh, f you know, back and, and puts it on yourself as something I can tangibly do this right here and right now to make this better. I might not be able to change the other person. I might not be able to change the way they think. I might not change if they are like being disrespectful and mean or or whatever, but I can change, you know, what I'm thinking about the other person. And we're called to love, um, not just the people that love us, but, you know, love people that are difficult to love and maybe hate us on some level. Um, especially if they're like deeply unconscious, it's, it's not uncommon that they just want to lash out and attack and hate and everything else. And so not to become triggered and become unconscious yourself and then kind of spiral down the drain of that, but to start checking your mental stories and start to revise them, you know, maybe you can start saying, well, they were afraid they didn't know better. You know, would you, would you look at a baby that's just like having a temper tantrum and just like create this big elaborate narrative again, you know, part of acceptance is going, Hey, they're just maybe not as mentally and emotionally mature as I projected that onto them that they were and, and just take, okay, they're doing the best they can. That's it. You know, they maybe can't do any better than that. And that's just, that's where you can start to grow it. And so another big, 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 big deal is in the forgiveness aspect, because once you are confronted with a lot of these beliefs and these assumptions that that person did in the past, to really start to start over new in the here and now is forgiveness. And so letting go of those mental stories, I feel like is what forgiveness is about. It might you be, be able to have many takes on forgiveness though, but that's just kind of where I'm at with it in the understanding. It's like letting go of the mental narrative of the past and, and looking at them through a new lens. You know, it's like maybe they were occupying a state of consciousness that wasn't that appealing, was really undesirable, but that doesn't mean that's, that needs to be how you're perceiving and dealing with them now. And so, um, when those mental narratives come in of like, oh, they were so tricked and they're so fooled. Oh, um, they're just um, d dumb and immature and, and what, whatever you're telling yourself, you know, but um, 
And that's when you can start to go, hey, wait a minute, that's not actually who they are now. Maybe they were that way, but moving forward, I'm going to look at them as, you know, a child of God and, and someone that God created that's blessed and, you know, deserves heaven and deserves love and, and all these kinds of things. And just in that kind of choice to see them in that way, instead of the past where they were unconscious, you're starting to see them more awake, which then strengthens that also in yourself. So it's like this, this, this ability to start to change your mental narrative and revise it, let it go, is what I believe forgiveness is all about. You know, the ego kind of idea of forgiveness is like, oh, you need to grovel and beg at me, like on the floor. And, you know, I'm on this pedestal, like I'm morally superior, and I don't fucking do things like that. And so you need to beg and plead for me to to forgive you, you peon. <laughs> you know, it's like that, that's not what I believe forgiveness is all about. But you know, more more so, just changing the way you, the story that you're telling yourself about that person. It's like, oh well, they're they're this label, they're that label, they're this label. People aren't a label, you know. And so, in a lot of ways, the stuff that they are doing is stuff that you are also guilty of doing. And so. Um, because we're all connected, a lot of times, you know, people will mirror things back to us that we might not want to take personal responsibility and ownership about. And that's, that's a big deal to start to recognize that same kind of pattern because we're all mirroring different things to each other. And so, you know, asking yourself, was I guilty of being ignorant? Was I guilty of being not egotistical? Was I guilty of being f fearful and hysterical? You know, it was like, was, was I doing these things, you know? And if you honestly evaluate yourself, more than likely you were. And so in forgiving others, you know, you're also simultaneously forgiving aspects of yourself that are helping you grow and evolve into higher levels of consciousness. And so um, one of the important things about relationships, too, is to realize they're not really designed to make you happy. You know, they're, they're designed to get you more and more awake, you know, and so you're able to take whatever's coming and then kind of transmute that and grow in your in your um, capacity to love and, and grow in your consciousness. And so um, you can start to use people, events, circumstances that might be difficult, frustrating, annoying, and incorporate that in part of your spiritual process, which will then instead of looking at things as being undesirable and like, oh, I'm a victim and things are just happening to me that are, that are, I'm being attacked, I'm being attacked. You can start to use that as an opportunity to check your, your mental stories. And if it's not in alignment with, oh, all things are working out for my good, God's in control of the situation. This is to help me on some level. This is to help prosper me in some way. This is to help, you know, give me a future and more hope. Yeah, you know, those are all promises of God that you can start to renew your mind with to change them out of this, oh, I'm a victim, oh, I'm being attacked, oh, I'm powerless, oh, I'm this, I'm that, oh, I'm cursed, oh, this, oh, I'm in a state of hell, oh, whatever you're saying. All of that can start to be transmuted and changed the more that you kind of make a spiritual practice about relationships, especially when they're difficult and annoying. And so um, it kind of kind of is a way to start renewing your mind, give you a bit better future, hope, all these types of things that are more and more desirable. And so with Thanksgiving being around the corner, you know, today, some people celebrate it during whenever they celebrate it. But a lot of times it's it's one of the only holiday times we're all together as families and and yeah you can be around people that are intimately close with you which really help um kind of bring out some programming that you might be uh kind of able to ignore or not really be affected by when it comes to strangers when it's people very close to you a lot of times it's like they they know they know the shit that you're doing and a lot of times they'll mirror that back to you too and so it's like I think it was Eckhart Tolle that talked about like, oh, you think you're super enlightened, so go spend a two weeks with your parents, <laughs> you know, and see how that works out. It's the same kind of thing. So, but you know, having having a idea about, well, this this isn't really necessarily supposed to make me happy. This isn't supposed to make me feel bubbly and joyful all the time. But you know, I can use it as a spiritual practice to attain those states of consciousness more and more in the here and now. It's really, uh, really, really a positive benefit. And so I wanted to bring those things to you guys' attention, to your awareness, so that you can start to experience more and more of that in the here and now, because it's only ever now. And 
you know, ultimately you are already doing this, whether you're consciously doing it or unconsciously spinning out, the choice is yours. And so uh, with that being said, think on a balance. I, I just finished, um, you know, some, some new, um, you know, music for, for publishing. And I'm going to put that on the, the channel. If you make videos like truth videos, um, you can use it for free, download it. I don't care if you monetize the video, you know, it's, it's really more, more about, um, you know, mm, spreading an energy, I guess, you know, as far as I'm concerned, but you know, if you are, um, gonna you know, have a budget and it's more of a legit kind of thing where music licensing is something that, um, you do, or you just like to support, uh, support me with, um, you know, purchasing a license. I appreciate that too. Um, but yeah, check that out. That'll, I'll be dropping here shortly after this video. Um, yeah, other than that, you know, I appreciate you guys liking, sharing, subscribing, all the social networking things. You know, I appreciate your spiritual support and your physical financial support. Thank you for that. Link in the description. I put it to good use. And, um, with that being said, have a good rest of your now and God bless.